Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to tie the medallion knot. So flip up that collar, toss on that tie, stay tuned, and we will soon get started. Now just so you know, there are a few things uh, you should be privy to before this video starts. The first of which is that the video is flipped, so when I say right, it's also your right. By the way, my blade, which is the large end, is on my right side. And when I say left, it's also your left. My tail, which is the small end, is on my left. Okay, so I've got the tip of my blade, which is uh, the tip of the tie, right at about my belt line. Okay, so right about there. All right, so from there, I'm gonna go ahead, come to the center of the tie and just place my finger right there, my index finger. I'm going to go ahead and pinch from the outside and create my power crease, otherwise known as the dimple of the tie. I'm going to pull that right to the center. From there, we'll go ahead and cross the tail end over like so. Now we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it around the back and up and through the center. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it around the back, uh, coming from the right side, wrapping underneath and heading over to the left. We're going to bring it up and through the center from the front. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just going to go ahead, bring it back over to the right side, and the tip of my tie is going to be placed right in this loop here. So I'm going to place in that loop underneath, I'm going to pull it through the opposite side here, just like so. So we're coming underneath this center portion and pulling it right on through. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead, pass it up and around and this loop here is going to hide that so no biggie okay so now that we've got that i'm going to continue with my tail and you can see i've got quite a bit i'm going to go ahead and take it it's going to go right underneath here and through this loop again and i like to make sure that it comes out on my right side because the way most of my shirts button and i'll show you exactly what i mean here in just a moment so we're going to go ahead and pull it through I love this with a contrast tie uh, because they're made really for specialty knots and it just to me looks a bit more flattering in the, uh, in the end of it all. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm just going to go ahead and take this baby and adjust it a bit. So with the remainder of the tail of the tie, I'm just going to take it and place it right into my shirt, which is why I like for it to end on the right side because then it gives me a place to hide the tail into the tie. And from there, I can get into manipulating a bit and adjusting to get it just like I want it. And I can make it nice and airy in there if I like, or I can make it nice and tight just depending on uh, your personal pleasure here. So I already have a tutorial that's showing you how to make it nice and tight, so I'm gonna leave this one airy. This is a tutorial I have done before, but I'm trying to make sure I film some of my older ones in better quality now that I have a better quality camera. So check that out, you guys. Let me move so I can get a better lighting here. Alrighty. Go ahead and place that there. And from here, I'll just go ahead and tuck this right on in. So of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment box down below. And until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. You are fancy now. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.